Hi, this is Jennifer from sbgcuttablefiles.com and I'm going to show you how to use my warped shapes in Silhouette Studio Designer Edition. You must have Designer Edition Plus for and have this warp shape option over here. So first, once it comes in like this, it's, let's shrink it down. It does not come with the word cheer. I just put that there. Let's go Control plus to zoom in. Let's see. Let's ungroup. Right click. Ungroup. Let's pick out a shape. Let's do this shape here. And I'm going to move the rest of these shapes over here out of the way. Let's see. So I typed out cheer in the JP42 font. Now we need to right click and convert it to path. It must be converted to path for this to work good. And let's make this shape. Make sure this lock is locked and make it 10 inches. Let's make the word 10 inches. Okay. Let's bring that to front. Arrange. Bring to front. Let's place it over that. And we're going to select both. Click Object. Arrange. I mean Align, sorry. Align. Center. Object. Align. Top. Okay. Then. Wherever there's a straight line on any of these, you want to align it to the top or that straight line. It just makes it easier. So let's click select the word, click on the warp panel. Oh, there it was. With the word selected, you want to click warp selected shapes. And you get this grid and these these handles here. Let's we need another column in the center. So let's go to columns, click up one. And you can play around with these divisions and columns and rows and to make it you know what suits you best the less I have found the less columns and shapes the easier so let's pull the center one down just like that just eyeball it pull this down and this is a handle we're gonna grab it pull it up to where it lines up with that curve Bring this one down Do as best as you can to get it lined up. Grab that handle, pull it up. And now this line right here, this blue line you see, to me this word looks a little weird because it kind of dips here and then goes. Mm. So you, you can play around with these and pull this up, pull it down. Here's another one here. I think this needs to go up. I think that um, as best you can, like, get these lines to kind of mimic these lines up here. Like, this one could be straight if you wanted. Or this line definitely here should be similar to this line to get this text to look right. So you can pull that up just a little bit. You know, just play around with them until you get the word to look in like you want. And then these little black handles here, you can move those around on each one. I can move this up a little bit. And you just keep tweaking and working with them until you get the shape and the look that you want. Like this could probably come up even more. Maybe a little bit more there. And once you get it when you like it, you can move it off the shape, you can delete the shape, select, click delete, now select your warp shape, click release warp. Now you can right click, make compound path, or, or not, object, convert to path, select, make compound. Well, I just don't know why it's doing that. Huh. Let's try welding. 
weld, and then make compound path. There we go. To weld it first, and then make compound path. Okay, so we've got our first shape. Let's zoom out a little bit. Let's do another one. Let's get this one here, the shape here. Click on it. 10 inches. Okay, zoom back in. Let's type out cheer again. Highlight. Pick the font you want. Pick the color. Right click, convert to path. Make sure that text is path. Let's make it 10 inches to match the width of our shape. Here we go. Make sure it's on top. Okay, and then we're going to go select both and go object, align, align center, and then object, align, and you can do middle, bottom, however you want. You can even stretch this out a little bit for less so you don't have to stretch it as much when you do warp. It's however you want to do it. It can be done many ways. So, now let's go back to the warp. Make sure that the word is selected. Warp selected shapes. Let's get that center bar in there by columns. Let's make it two columns. Okay, let's, I like to start with the outside first. Pull that down. Pull that down. Okay, and then I can do the center. I'm trying to keep it lined up there. Okay, that straight up. Grab this handle. Line it up. Grab this handle. And we need to move that up a little bit. Grab that. And another one. Okay, see how this is all, you know not shaped good right here. This is not pleasant looking. So we can we can mess around with these little black handles here until we get it open just like we want it. We want this to have the same curve here. Just pull these up. Oh, and if you do that accidentally go control Z to go back or just come up here and click go back. those up. It needs to go up a little bit more, I think. There. Ah, and just keep tweaking it until you get it just like you want. I'm going to select that background shape and click delete. So that looks pretty good. So let's release the warp. And there you go. You got your word. Alright, and then all of these are pretty similar. Each one has a different, you just have to find different techniques for different ones. Most are pretty easy. So thank you so much for watching. I will put the link below where you can purchase these shapes if you're interested. And thank you so much.